Welcome back everybody. Do forgive me that if I'm in the different area of my starting point. So as much as we are back over here in this area, as you guys probably noticed that my entry theme was a little different. I will soon explain why the ultimate nightmare of hell I hate in the world is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just be hardcore for this one and run for it. Because in the next area we're gonna have to deal with some very annoying little creatures. And do forgive if the noise outside. Gotta love those um Monday lawnmowers. Yeah, where I live, I live in an area that pretty much in its entirety is dealt with maintenance workers. So that's just great. Oh, I'm not looking forward to going through this room. But then again, I got no choice. Yep, into zero, zero, 002 room. Let's hope and pray there's no zombies. So as much as there's a ladder here, this is my ultimate nightmare of hell. And the real reason why, to all my viewers who have watched my Advanced Wars S Trials, this scene. Uh, you hear this theme? It ain't the Jaws theme. No, it's an annoying theme that just pretty much pisses me off from beyond the max. Okay, since we know we can't cross there because water... Dear gods, there's water in this theme. Oh, I hate the water. I mean, what is it with every single game that has to have a water theme? I mean, first it was Mario. Then came Zelda, Mega Man, Sonic. Then Resident Evil now. I mean, what is it? I mean, does it have to involve anything to do with water? Well, I guess the Earth is consumed with about maybe 75% water, so... Pretty much in its entirety, everything has to have water. And if I'm not mistaken, all these crates are carrying lovely items. So, yeah. I'll probably talk about that in a little bit. Since I gotta move this crate and I can't go through that door yet. Why? Well, if you see water there, you pretty much know that the thing should be... Let's go ahead and check it anyways. Yep, it's locked from the other side. I thought so. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Okay, I truly do not like this theme. And in it, even though I had tried to do perfect running, this game is hard for this version to do perfect running. Anybody who can pull it off, I would love to see it. As my controller is rattling right about now because I'm scared to death here. Whew, this isn't going to go pretty. No, no, no. And guess what we get to grab here? We don't need this green herb to come with us. Yes, we're going to need this herb. Oh, man, the water. I hate this. I really hate the water. Alright. So here's a lovely cutscene where we're in water. Richard. So another thing about the PlayStation version is that the water area got extended from the GameCube version. And look what we see. Well, yes, another nightmare from hell. Roy Snyder's nightmare. Run. Huh. Are you seriously kidding me? I didn't take any damage from those sharks. Shit, I could have done a perfect run if it wasn't for those bloody birds. Ah, You evil birds! No wonder that's why you caused me trouble in this game. Damn it! I swear, that was just luck of the Irish. I couldn't even understand it. How the hell did I freaking dodge those bloody birds? Oh, I'll never understand. 
Oh well. So yeah, here we are in the aquatic area. And apparently we have to kind of read some memos here. I kind of forgot about how to deal with this thing. Oh wait, might as well get this first aid spray right here. Even though I'm not going to need to. So, oh god, we're in five minutes already. Gotta hurry up, Bert. Open up this thing real quick. And what is it, a uh, first aid spray? Oh no, it's green herbs. Two of them. And uh, we might as well combine it. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do this real quick. Oh god. Yes, we already know what we have to do here. Press the shutter. No. Okay. Not there. Also, a little thing about this is that, um... You have to go to over here. Oh, wrong way. And then once that's happened, you gotta speed through this little thing, otherwise... Oh shit, hurry up Chris. Yeah, so you gotta kinda hurry up before the shark breaks that door, and if it happens, you're pretty much screwed. There we go. Hopefully the thing goes down. Thank God. So yeah, once this thing is done, you're pretty much in the clear. Then all you gotta really do is this part. Drain the water. <laughs> nice going. Yay, so the water has completely drained. And I still can't believe it, I didn't take any damage. I swear, that's the hardest part to ever take damage is going through that area. And then we can go through this door. Oh, I hate sharks, I swear. They're the number one thing I truly hate in the world. Especially when you go swimming. You never know when there's one of those little evil man-eaters out there. And as much as I'm going to say it, yes, I truly do not like sharks. I swear. They're truly not my ultimate favorite thing. They can pretty much just kill you at an instant second. And yeah, let's just go through this door and get the ultimate gun we pretty much want. So yeah, a little bit of a spoiler here, as I mentioned. If you save Richard, guess what gun you get in this game? Um, after I take care of this little bastard. Die, you evil amphibian bastard. There it is. So yes, you get the assault shotgun. A little bit better than the original shotgun because it carries more ammo. And yeah, that's pretty much what it does. It's the best gun in the game. And this nasty scene. Oh, why couldn't he just have been disappeared or something? So yeah, a little bit of a thing that just pisses me off about this area is this scene right here. So yeah, as much as you can't do anything here, the thing is, if you run outside here, you can get killed by the shark. So let's go ahead and use Pokemon Science here. What affects water type Pokemons? Electricity. Here's a little bit of a short circuit for you, you evil shark. Yes, get shocked in hell. Ha 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 you evil little shark. That's what happened, Jaws, when you pissed everybody from beyond beliefs, like me. Okay, Chris, let's just jump off this thing. Go around the evil shark that's just twitching because he got a heart attack. So we got another residence, so residence key, and this one is room 003, I think. Uh, no, it says gallery. Okay, never mind. I jumped to the conclusion here a bit. So yeah, as much as this shark is permanently dead, thank God. Uh, that is truly the most painful existence of me that I hate. I really hate those sharks. I have no love for them. And they truly are the pain of my life here. I mean, I don't like sharks. I don't like the ocean. 
Because you never know when one of those are going to attack you. So let's get out of this area. And we go through this little gate door. Oh god, we're in the 10 minute limit. Oh, I wonder if I can make it to the stuff already. Oh, okay. Look at this. We get some magnum rounds. That's the best thing to have. Oh, we still have the ocean theme here. Dear gods. Wait, did I forget anything? Let's see. Oh, I did forget something. Huh. I wonder what I forgot over there. Okay. Better go back that way again. Just hopefully I can make it. So, what else have I forgotten here? Oh, okay. More shotgun rounds. Okay, I think that's the last thing. I hope. Yes, the item hogger is back. <laughs> I must have my items. As greedy as a person I can be, I really want my items. I'm surprised the actual theme did not play while running away from those man-eaters, I swear. That is like the first time I've ever actually seen that happen. Yeah, there's a kind of a bad theme where if you actually get the sharks chasing you, They'll be playing off a real runaway theme that makes you want to get freaked out like really bad. So as much as this whole thing was about getting rid of those sharks, getting the gallery key. Yeah, we're going to kind of cut it back at the top. So hopefully I can make it there in 14 minutes because <laughs> yeah, I really need to hurry it up here. So let's go out of here and ignore the... Super zombie that's hiding inside the bathroom. Yeah, he pretty much is lonely in there, but I'm not going to be there to care, sh uh, care for it. Because I don't really want to. Alright, let's go. Oh, man, I mean, Hollywood must have had a lot of evil people in this game. First it was... Tepihedra. Then we had Jennifer Lopez. Then David Arquette, and now Roy Snyder. <laughs> I wonder how many more Nightmares are we going to have in this game. I mean, really. There's got to be a lot more that Resident Evil decided to bring to the table. So, yes. We're back inside the saving point. To drop off some of our handy items here. So, let's go ahead and drop the shotgun. Uh, I'll probably hold on to this gun for a bit. Uh, the green herb. Yeah, we can get rid of it a bit. And we can kind of get rid of some Magnum rounds for a second. Oh yeah, a little strange thing that I forgot to mention about the um, self-defense gun. It's a weird gun in its entirety. I mean, the gun just doesn't do that much. I mean, it doesn't bring that much to the table. It It's weird. Even though the Magnum revolver is supposed to be the best gun in the game, this gun doesn't do that much. It doesn't even kill. Which is what I still don't get about that gun. But anyways, we're just going to save a bit here, people. Uh, yeah, Chris, right here. So, let's go ahead and save one more time. Whew. So, with the Nightmare of those Sharks history, this is Bert Meister. Going to cut it here. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Until then, peace out.